Hey guys, welcome to DevOps School. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn about Docker. It helps us to create, deploy and run applications by using containers. After going through this tutorial, I promise you that the concept and understanding of the Docker will be absolutely clear to you. But before that, let me ask you a few things. Are you dreaming of a career with higher pay and more responsibilities? Or are you ready to take your skills to the next level this year? Then start investing in DevOps School certification level courses which will help you to emerge skills for a wide range of entry level roles and as well as higher potential future positions. But with thousands of courses online and in classroom worldwide, finding the right one for your career goals can be difficult. You can consider our courses like Agile Developer, Agile QA, DevOps Certified Professionals, Site Reliability Engineering, DevSecOps and Masters in DevOps Engineering where you will have access to well-structured, easy-to-follow course content that has been developed and will be delivered by industry professionals. You can join on our training programs globally through online platforms and if you are looking for classroom workshops then we have regular sessions available in Bangalore, Hyderabad, Chennai, Delhi NCR, Mumbai and in Pune. Simply compare our many courses, find the one that suits your style and schedule best and start today. Now I will delete from the location which is local and I will reverse this. See that file is not there. So now what I am going to do is I am going to copy back this file from the container and here source is this one and the destination is current directory dot and now you work simple now guys create command we have covered diff command now diff command basically it will tell you what are the difference you what are the things you have done it in the container for example i copied only one file remember that so that I should see that. So any files you modify, create a deleted change of files and directory, you can see that. C for the changes, A for addition, D for deletion. Okay. So right now I have not done anything great installation and installations, but if you do that, you can see the changes which is done in the containers using the bit command. Now exit we tried, inspect, guys, this command, you must use it. Inspect will give you every information about contain every information which include environment variable images uh networking information cpu ram and blah blah things a lot of information will give you okay kill command we have used it pause command we use it port command will tell you if you have port exposed then you can see that information from this and you see that no information has come because i did not expose this container and uh, with hyphen p option that's it now, uh, ps command, we know that, rename command. Any containers, you can rename it using this command, which is here. So rename this container to what? Dev1. And you see that here, this is the container I renamed it. Now restart, rm, run, start, stop, unpause, you know that. So basically, we have completed almost all the commands working with the containers. The task for you is update and wait. So this is the assignment for you. I'll let you do that and then wait for now there are few commands which we have in the monitoring sections also. That means you can using these commands you can monitor it. For example, I want to monitor this uh, uh, container logs. So how do I do that? So here, if you look at this Docker logs commands and this container and run it, and you see that logs of the container. Right now I don't see it. Why? Because I'm not able to access it. But if I uh, access the container uh, and then create a log HTTP uh, one, what is the port? Uh, what is the container? Uh, IP address, so uh, uh, I need to get it. So inspect that. Inspect that. It should be two, I guess, because no containers are there. Yeah, this is one. Okay, so here inspect no curl curl HTTP dab dab paste it, enter. Uh, why is not coming? running uh, it's running and I need to check this uh, this should not happen but I need to check that I'm checking the IP address one more time uh, this is the correct right yes so ping let me think that ah, it's pinging why it's not running uh http uh okay 
I can change this, but uh, just to let me restart that, if it's fixing, could be any other reasons also. Restart. Ah, see, my bad. I understood this. Anyone could know, could not notice? This is not HTTPD, it's a Ubuntu container. There's no Apache running, so I'm hitting the Apache. That's not good, right? Got it? Yes. That's, see, mistakes can happen. So guys, uh, so here logs is not coming, right? No problem, I know that how to show you in the Ubuntu also logs. PID one, remember that. So this container, you see the log is not coming. But you know what, I will attach this container, Docker attach, and inside that, because of bin bash, I can attach ls, 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 control p, q, and I'm outside of the container, and then logs. See, this is all ls which I run inside a container, you can see as a logs, because of bash. Okay, so logs, we have, we have run it. PS command, we have run it, stack commands. Stat command basically will tell you what are the CPU and RAM you are utilizing by the containers. You can see that all containers you will see how much CPU, how much RAM, how much network, how much block IO you are utilizing. So you can see that. Top command. Top command will tell you what is the process ID in the host machine for each container. I repeat, host machine. For example, there is a Docker PS Docker top. Now, container ID. Now in the system, what is the what is the PID? See here, PID two three three five two. So let me grab that two three three five two, and you see that this is the bash. So and one more process ID which you have PPID this one, and this is your container B. So in the host machine, if you want to know which is the ID PID which is empowering the container, that we can talk. About. Guys, here remember that event command. Event command will give you the all the logs of the D, Docker D, not container, Docker D. See here, this is a container, this is for container, this is for container, this is for container, uh, this is for the server, Docker D. So Docker D, see here, events. Nothing is coming. Why? Because I am not doing anything on the server. I will use this one and I will run one container, Docker run hyphen D, HTTPD. And you see that? I told you run is equal to create, connect, and start, and many other stuff happen. You see that? These are the logs of Dr. D, Dr. Server. Yes. So, guys, event command, we can use it for the Dr. D. So, guys, we have completed the monitoring containers also. Now, we have to work with an image. So, so far, are you comfortable? Any questions? Any questions? Okay. Abel, Amen, Anshu, Fajan, Prasanna, Rafesh, Suresh, Jaira. That's okay. Uh, yes, we are testing, so we need to practice it a lot. Yes, yes. Uh, let me tell you, I know that, but you know, uh, uh, I'm trying my best to cover lots of topics in four hours, so you can have a maximum content with you. And uh, the fear, at least the fear will come out of you about the Docker. It's not a great thing. It's not a complicated thing. It's simple. It's easy to work with it. It just requires a little bit of practice. Yeah. Okay. Just so guys. Can... Yeah. Yes, please tell me. Uh, just uh, can you please after the session export all the comments which you run and put in one notepad so yes yes that, be, uh, that's that's my task yeah. I'll do that. Right. Right. so in fact i should do that uh let me let me do that now itself that will be easier for me because after that i may get little uh this network timeout and all and do this so this is the notes, and this all commands are in front of you in one box. Other box also ran few commands just for that. Uh, you know, I was needed, and here this is another box. I mean, and it's not a box, another box, other sessions. Okay, more more questions, guys.
no okay so can we create an image all of you ready for it yes okay guys do you remember what is an image you have to tell me what is an image because i have explained it to you and if you don't tell me what is an image then i will not be able to teach you how to create create an image tell me what is an image anyone remember that anyone remember that so guys let me repeat one more time here image is nothing but collections of file system will you remember that collections of file system what file system i am talking about examples agree with me or not guys yes yes so yes image is nothing but a collection of file system root file system user file system application file system example ubuntu root file system and then this is ubuntu root file system rfs i must write it as it will get confused in future okay then uh, user name and then some applications now image every container would get one mount every container one copy of docker image attached to this and df-ph which i have shown you how many containers i am having any see two containers and df-ph you see that two mounts are there so here that's what, that's what i said every container would get one mount is equal to one copy of docker image attached to container see here there are two containers two attachment two mounts you can see that mounted on also so that's a that should be clear so whatever you have an image you see inside a container so anything you want to keep it inside a container you should be having an image okay this is some more examples which you have it. and docker registry i will not discuss right now so i hope you remember that what is an image you know that correct yeah so guys you know, it's very simple you know very simple i must draw some pictures so you'll have a little bit better visualizations please understand that guys this is your image okay this is your image now divide it into multiple file system one file system two file system three file system and four file system what you have here let's say it's a centos root file system rfs what you have here maybe java guys what you have here maybe tomcat and what you have here maybe jenkins one application which is based on java so the logic is very simple guys here jenkins need a tomcat maybe or maybe it can be any other application tomcat need to run java and java can run on the root file system and the root required a boot file system which is in the host machine anyways and this is your image agree with me all of you yes yeah. you know guys you know what this file system we don't call a file system in docker anyone remember that what we call it What do we call it? Oh, so layer. No layer. We call it file system layer. In Docker, we call it a layer. In Git, we call it commit ID. Why I am correlating commit ID? Remember, the moment you commit, I repeat, the moment you commit, you get a forty character SHA value, which you can refer with the seven characters also. So here also. Let me show you. This file system is nothing but a commit. So let me show you how many images you have. Docker images. There are two images: Ubuntu and uh, and uh, HTTPD. And I want to see how many commits has happened in the HTTPD. And you see that these many commits. That means these many file systems we have. 
this many now you'll see what are the changes has been done you can see that in the size also zero bytes means environment variable changes and some of them is a, like a heavy one which has a certain files and directories whereas this should be your root file system okay so like that you can check this any other images also guys history command will tell you all this stuff here history ubuntu so one to how many layers we have this is just a two layers so two file system how do i see history command you can also inspect it guys inspect will give you you can inspect the container you can inspect the image you can inspect the volume you can inspect the uh, network everything you can do that so see here go and check this layers where the layers uh, somewhere here see here. these are the layers uh, sorry, sorry this is the layers see here this is the root file system so i'm not complicating too much slowly you get comfortable with it but are you comfortable with this concept at least this image hello yes. now guys there is a two command i used it which one can you please tell me to check the image okay ramesh and uh, inspect wonderful please remember this command inspect is a very powerful command inspect with container inspect with image inspect, inspect with uh, network inspect with the volumes many things it can work like like a charm now the question what i am trying to tell you here is see uh, right now i know that uh, this timeline is very limited and you guys have not practiced it you guys have not got into the system right now and uh, many of you are having little limited information about the system architecture so i will not complicate with the too many terminologies okay i'll be very simple here so at least the 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 fear of creating an image will go away from you so i will not get into too much of depth but at a high level so the my purpose is to make you comfortable with the system first and then once you get an interest automatically you start googling it by the way 99% of the time people don't have a requirement to go into depth of the anatomy of the images okay simply you will use images every day you will create an image every day but you will not go into depth of how it structure algorithm and blah 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 things that's a sharp to do this so you'll not go into that so i'll not complicate the stuff i'll be making very simple the flow here see here every image please remember that every image has a multiple file system this lowest file system is the root file system and after that you can have n number of application by the way this all you can have it in one layer itself one file system itself but we do not have it like that why because sometimes you know what you want to upgrade java sometimes you want to upgrade tomcat one day sometimes this so in that case if you keep it separate it's then easy to do that easy to upgrade and patches creating a new images out of it now guys you know what happens this is a very important statement i am i am telling you to you please hard code that do you remember this command all of you uh, that command is docker run docker run what is this command ha huh. do you remember this command yes yeah and guys do you remember that this one also please can you please read it for me uh, not 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 this one this one got it all of you yes so what happened guys you know what please understand that very simple flow what happens then the moment you run the docker run dab 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 in his name what happens all this layer is hear me out clearly there should not be any confusion all this layer merge into one layer is become one file system by the way see here the same thing i was telling you see here i said very clearly one copy of docker image attached to the user container as a mount what happens all the layers all the file system which has a root java tomcat jenkins or dab 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 blah 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 all get attached to this one file system 
it create one file system and then attach to the user and then you get a mount also oh, sorry mount this is a file system mount one network one p3 and this is user app so whatever you have in this file system it runs an application is running did you understand that one so every container merge this here into one file system now you will ask me rajesh where exactly you saw that so i'm not getting into depth of it but i'll remind it to you do you see how many containers you have look at my screen see here i have a two containers so that means i should be having two layers of merge correct now see here read this this is a one layer this is another layer and you see merged merged understood all of you yes yes now i'll show you a little bit more depth okay i am stopping these two containers okay look at my screen very carefully and and look at this here i am stopping the container and finally i am deleting also container taking time little and i am deleting my container please focus on this session very important session now i have a two images i have no container right now i have a two images i will delete this container image also how do i delete rmi rm for container delete rmi for image delete you could have not deleted an image if the containers are using so that's the reason i deleted the container first now guys i cleaned everything system is clean and you see that within a few seconds you could clean the whole system but but i should go to the var lib docker overly now you say rajesh how do you know this path and all so guys i don't know it's a set path actually and i query this location docker info and they told me where was your location for the doc everything docker knows about it. i did not ask the path may different in a different operating system now what is the size of this directory 0 bytes that you can see some links and all the same thing one now guys i will pull one image docker pull ubuntu enter and you see that how many times is pulling see this is a pulling latest and this is a one pull complete and you see here see there is a only one layers are uh, in the uh, in the ubuntu image see here there is only one pull where is the pull here it is see that and that's the reason you see the one pull pull here now you'll we'll say rajesh this id is not matching it's pulling here and this is different id don't look at that because if in order to understand the structure you need to understand the chart of okay, this is algorithm which is a completely out of this context so right now there is only one layer of this one two you if you pull different image you may have a 10 layers also okay so now if you guys if you look at this if i go inside that and here go to the diff directory what you see that here look at this where i am inside the one of the layer of the image ubuntu image inside the diff and what i see what you have tell me what is that the home directory of uh... it's a root root file system it's a root file system opt etc dev home media proc this that correct the same thing i am having in the host machine also see this is one something similar it's not the same but similar one there's a difference between same and similar my host machine also have root file system every containers also every image also have a starting with a root file system make sense guys all of you ubuntu is a root or image root image actually. base image are you understand all of you yes so now guys what i am doing right now i am creating a container so you see that additional layer will be created that's called merge layer so can i create a container docker run hyphen itd ubuntu and here see that okay i need to go back a little bit here see that 
see earlier it was only one file system this one and now you got this one don't look at this one this is a runtime environment okay this uh, if you see the size also it will be very 8 kb or something yeah and if you see the size of this directory yeah and now see that df fnth look at this here this is the same got mounted to the container are you able to see that all of you? Yes. Okay, guys, I will go inside this. Look at my screen, all of you. I will go inside this. And here you see, see here. You have a diff merge work. I'll not complicate too much, but I'm talking about merge right now. See, the moment I will stop the container, see that here. Look at my screen. I'm stopping the container. Docker. Stop container ID. And you see here, I stop it. It's taking a little time. Uh -huh. And then LSC merge has gone. Merge has gone. df and ph C mount got disappeared. Can I start it? I'm starting this one more time. See that beautifully how this is being played. Look at this. Merge has come. And mount has come. So, guys, what I'm trying to say overall, you know what? This containers, this this file systems are there all the time. When you run a container, this whole file system get merged into one layer, and this get mounted to the container. The moment you stop the container, this get deleted. The moment you start the container, this again get created. Are you having understanding now? Yes, yes. Okay. Now I'll not confuse you too much, guys, because you have to do that little bit of work also. So, guys, here what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, I'm going to teach you how to create an image. So, question is how to create an image. So, guys, there's a two ways to create an image. One way using existing container. Okay. And then uh, another one using Docker file. Okay, Docker file. Both way I'll teach you. Now, using existing container, let's say uh, my manager said, Rajesh, what you need to do, you have to have a base of Ubuntu, and then inside that Ubuntu, and inside that you do one thing: install Git, and then install Apache, and then all this thing, blah blah blah, and then give it to me that image, new image. That's the requirement for the project. It can be installed Java also for the sake of it. So all these things you install in a multiple layers or same layer, it's up to me. So now I said, hey, I will install everything in one layer only because I don't want to complicate uh, this. This one in a separate. This one is separate layer. This one is separate layer. This one is separate layer. Because here, as for the discussion, what I said, you should be having a separate layer. But right now, for the sake of Ease of demo. I'm keeping everything in one layer, and this one will be in one layer. Agree with me, all of you? Yeah. So my manager said, "How much time you will take?" And I said, "Sir, I'll take only five minutes. Only five minutes. Ah, that is too much actually, buddy. So can I do that? So guys, look at my screen here. And right now, all the commands you know that. So Docker ps. There is one container which is Ubuntu created, which is this is done. This is done. I got a container here. And how to create any container? You know that. After that, I'll go inside the container and install the git. So can I go inside the container? Docker attach and get both will work in this case because of bash. So the container is here. Now I want to install the git, which is a git. So I know the commands apt. So one, two, remember? So see, I'm installing the git. Oh, git is not there. What to, what to do? So you know that operating system. You have to update the repository, and I'm updating this one to repository. And clear the screen. Now installing the Git. Remember everything I'm doing in the container. And Git is installed inside a container, almost. And our work is done. Git is done. Oh yes. Now what is the next requirement? Apache. Let me install the Apache also. Apache two. I know the package name, so I'm doing it. If you don't know that Google, you can do that. Really. Why remember that you have to give it the why? Done. So 
which apache when you check this apache has come or not which apache two wonderful and then last one i need to install java also java is there no it's not there so you have to install java i'm i'm not copying any file how to copy and all you know right uh, see you have to install java that is not there so i need to do cheating a little bit of it just a second so uh, java install and this my so every kind of tutorials you can find on this portal if you don't find please uh, uh, whatsapp me i'll help you with it so java in open to write so this is the command for java okay the package name is different not java only. so here paste it and java is being installed And now, guys, almost done. And inside a container, Java is installed almost. Done. So, guys, Java is also installed. So, yes, I'm done. Control PQ. Safely exit. You can exit also. Well. Done. So, guys, in this container, you see that in this container, I have Docker exec container ID git Java installed, git is installed, and last one, which Apache is installed. Wonderful. And finally, guys, the magical command to create an image. Mind it here. Are you able to look at my screen? Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes. So the, I'm creating an image Docker comment. Docker comment. Hi, Fanam. Why you are commenting? So it has a one two plus update plus Java plus Git plus Apache. Also for the reference purpose. And here, which con? Uh, who are you? Author. Hi, Fanam. And author Rajesh Kumar. And which container you want to comment? This container. Along with that, you can access our other tutorials such as Docker, Ansible, Jenkins, Terraform, Splunk, AWS, Azure, and various other DevOps-related premium tutorials with our channel membership. If you would have any issues with our channel membership, you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com, or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video. To get our channel membership, click on to the join button, select the 399 plan and grow your skills immensely. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries. We will reply to them at the earliest. Thanks for watching. Hello everyone. If you would like to access the remaining videos of this playlist of 50 plus more tools which are coming under DevOps, DevSecOps, SRE, DataOps, GitOps, ETC. Kindly become our channel members by clicking on the joining button. You would have access to 100s of playlist and 1000s of videos lifetime access with this membership. Enjoy.